Hey everybody, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel here, coming at you with another video. Um, today is Friday, so we're just going to do a collective read. I'm just going to do a random collective. This one's going to be pretty quick because I'm starting off a little late here. Um, so since it's going to be quick, maybe I'll just come on and do another one later. Okay. Alright, so... Um, don't forget to check the description box see what i got going on down here links to you know my website instagram and the um birth charts that you can get um look you guys here i made another crown Ooh, so pretty right i didn't update the other one on my website yet but i'm going to be updating that more than likely this afternoon I was trying to do it yesterday, but didn't get a chance. So let's see what you guys got going on here. Collective, this is going to be just a really quick read because like I said, I'm running a little on a time crunch. We have Angel Aura Quartz, Lighten Up, Solidite, Speak Your Truth, and Argonite, Release Your Emotional Baggage. Okay. All right, spirit, what do these mean? Okay, for the collective gratitude, we have the sun, we have the queen of pentacles, two more. Oh, gratitude, gratitude. Okay. Oh, we got three more. All right. The Empress, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. Okay. So the Sun is Leo, Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn, the Empress, Taurus, Libra, Five of Pentacles is Taurus, and Queen of Wands is Aries. Okay. So you may be feeling cold or I'm sorry, feeling some sort of baggage about um, someone being left out in the cold, whether that be um, you or someone else being left out in the cold. Why is the sun here? Lighten up. It's like, you know. I'm feeling like it's like appreciate the happy lighten up. That's why the sun is here. All right. We have three of pentacles, seven of wands, ten of swords. It's like you're happy with the collaborations that you're um, having right now. You've lightened up your life. You're able to speak your truth. Um, you've released the person or thing that was causing you some emotional baggage um, in the past. So your life has become a little bit uh, more happy, a bit more stable, and you're really enjoying that right now. You're enjoying the collaborations that you're um, coming into contact with. And you're knowing that your stability is protected, okay? Um, this other person is watching you. They do hold you in high regard. Um, but for some reason, it is hurtful for them. But let me check on this Ten of, Pen ten of Swords and see who that is. Why, is it, why else is the Ten of Swords here? And someone might, come, might offer to... Um, bring this family or a group or a project or you know you coming back to this job whatever it is someone may offer for you to come back together i'm seeing that someone is hurt because the other pretty much cut them off they were not down with the change they were kind of being um combative conflictual um And not really trying to um, show emotion, not really trying to say sorry. Um, so this 
past situation or person may be your emotional baggage. That's what this Ten of Swords is. This could be you. You've been hurt by this person before. You've been put rock bottom by this person before. Um, now this person is in turn feeling that about you. Um, maybe. But it's all in vain. It's all because... Uh, I mean, they may want to offer an apology, but I feel more or less like it's because they've lost their stability. This person may have lost their home. They may be homeless. Um, but at, for some reason, they're wanting to come back. They're wanting to work on things. They're wanting to uh, be with you again. Um, but you're like, you know, as I, I need you to speak your truth to me. That's why the King of Swords is here. I need you to speak the truth to me. Let it come from your heart. Queen of Cups. Okay. We have three queens out here. We're one queen shy of a of of the empress, of another empress. So this could be some situation that involves two empress. And instead of working together as a family, one is definitely has cut the other off. And um it, it led them to feel some type of way about it. I mean, they've tried to come back in, but you know, the other person knows that uh, one person is very combative. Um, they're trying to heal. You know, there's a reason why this other person wants to come in and it's not really a too good reason. I'm not sure if this person has learned their lesson or not. Um, why is the Knight of Swords here? Gratitude. Like... I have all my cards upright and the Fool and the Ace of Cups come out in reverse. One more, please. One, two. And Three of Cups. So this person isn't really um, sorry about the um, third party situations that you may have been put in before. Um, I don't really think that this person or you I, and I don't really feel like you care too much for a reconciliation you don't want a new start you do not want a new beginning you don't care what kind of um feelings or love or emotions or none of that that this person is going to come in and try to offer you um you know that 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 isn't the ten of cups for you okay I don't feel like you're willing to collaborate with this person why is Ten of Cups here? Because you definitely are being seen as stable and happy and grounded and, you know, beautiful and sexy. And that one wants to come out so bad. I tried to flip it, but okay. Ten of Cups clarified by the Hierophant, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Moon. So your blinders are off. You know exactly the reason why um, you and this other party um, or situation can't commit. Um, maybe you found out that this person cannot commit or this person had a family that they already weren't committing to, weren't committed to. But there was something that was illuminated to you about this other situation that you just decided that you did not want to continue to commit to that um, situation blindly. Um, you want to just move on from whatever heartache or heartbreak that you incurred in there. You just want to heal and you're ready to, you were ready to communicate that with that person. You're ready to speak your truth. You're ready to get this person who was this load off of you. You're ready to lighten up. You're ready to get that, that just, that just heavy energy that you need to release. You're ready to get that off of you. Okay, so that was definitely illuminated to you and you decided you did not want to move on. Death at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio energy. You you just did not want to move on. Right behind death, we have Page of Wands and we have the Hanged One. You did not want to move on, okay? And you made that very clear to this person. You took action. Your action spoke louder than your words when it came to that one, okay? And you, you spoke from your heart. But it's like this person needs to speak their truth like they're living in la la land they're in delusional like they need to be released gone done 
Um, Nine of Wands removes herself from situations. So to release um, baggage. So sometimes you may have to step back from certain people if they're not willing to step away from you. You know what I mean? Okay. So at the end of the day, someone wants to work with on something with someone else. Um, I'm seeing that there may have been hurt, um, you know, a lot of pettiness may be going on in the past, but uh, this person does want to reconcile, wants to come in from the cold with you, wants to feel the love that you once gave them again, the one, the love that once made them whole again. But I'm feeling as though like you've done a lot of work on yourself. You've done a lot of work to release your hap to get your happiness, to release this baggage and the weight that this um, person or thing or situation has put on you in the past. And you're ready to just move on with your life. I don't, I don't really think that you're trying to um, do that. So if this is someone that you need to speak your truth to, that you need to just go ahead and tell them, I would do that. Okay. But if you've already said something to this person before, then you need to just... Look, success. You will successfully get away from this person. Um, or the outcome of this situation will just be a success. But yeah, this person, obviously, you got to tell them in like regular terms. This person will probably take offense because they're probably the type of person that can't take a clue, can't take a hint. Then we have choose a new direction within the next few months. Okay. So you will have success once you choose a new direction within the next few months. Okay. And the new direction would be away from this person, but you're going to have to be assertive when you're talking to this person, because I'm feeling like this person is not going to let you go so easily. But I mean, it's like not up to them. If you don't want to be involved with this person, you don't literally have to be involved with this person. Okay. So, um, reconsider maybe any, thing that this person presents to you as wish fulfillment as happiness um just remember that you know you you've got this and um if you need any help any advice or just a friend to talk to i'm here and if nobody has told you guys today i'm gonna let you know i love you and peace be on the lookout for another video later i'm so sad that this had to be so short but had to be that way um so Make sure you go to my website later though. I'm going to um, add some of this other stuff. Got the rings and stuff already up there. So I have to add more pictures of that. And I have to add the crowns up there. So you guys can go ahead and um, start to order those. Maybe later I'll do a love reading. All right, you guys. So have a good one. Guys. Mouth fart. <laughs> I'm so silly.